Let's continue with the notes, how to write a lab report. The focus of this video is going to be on the hypothesis. And I will warn you, the hypothesis is going to be uh, a little bit different uh, than what you've been asked to do with hypothesis uh, when creating them uh, in the past. So let's, uh, let's get to work. When you have a hypothesis or when you're asked to create a hypothesis, what's going to be the biggest difference this year is the approach in which we are going to ask, of, ask for you to kind of follow when creating it. And the approach is the if than, and then what is simply referred to as the because. If, then, because will be the purpose of the actual experiment. Example, if you have warm water and you add salt, then the salt will melt, or let's go back and do this again. If you have warm water and you drop ice into it, then the ice will melt because, and then you will give your reason. So the if, then, because is not going to be one of the statements that I think you guys are familiar with using is, I believe this is going to happen and here's my reason why. So I believe the ice is going to melt because the warm water is going to cause it to melt. Or we, because you're doing it in a group, we believe that the warm water will cause the ice to melt because warm water will do that to ice. Those are statements, and those are, those are fine, but they can also be taken as you are asking a question. Rather than simply saying that if this takes place, then this is going to happen, and here's the reason why. You're giving it in a factual sense. So your goal for any time that you are actually writing this is to provide an answer for the question, what the problem is. So if you were asked to, you know, does ice melt faster in warm water or cold water, you're providing an answer. If ice is placed in warm water, then the ice will melt and then you give the last piece, which is the facts to support it, the because. So you state your answer as a fact. You're not using pronouns. Things such as I, such as we, such as our experiment, those don't exist. You're not going to talk in that term. You're not going to write in that sense. You're going to simply say, if this takes place, then this is the reason why, and this is because. You're going to support it, and that's going to be a key feature. Mr. Fusak and I are going to harp on you guys to provide support, support, and more support to come up with a reason as to why you believe this is going to happen. Okay, we're going to be working on this uh, a lot over the course of the next couple weeks. Um, and I, I hope that if you struggle, have questions, that you, you openly ask and share your concerns about writing this because I don't think you're going to be the only one. I think there are going to be many others that are going to struggle with this piece.